Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create a search input with these drop down list items so friends video is going to be more important and before start please i request you to subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with amazing programming videos let's start so friends first of all you can see that i have simple index.html file here we'll be able to see my html code and in this file you will able to see my css code and when i will click on this go live so here at the right side you will able to see the output lively so let's start first of all we have to make a div here with class wrapper and then create another div with class search box create another div with class drop down div dot default option type here all text and next we have to create another unordered list give a class to this unordered list ul create three list items here and put text in these list items like recent popular and next we have to type here on click but we will do it later after this drop down div we have to create another div with search field class and put an input here list holder would be search and class would be input and next we have to create here an i element with class fa fa search we cannot use this class we need to add font awesome icons to add font awesome icons open google and search here font awesome cdn click on the first link click on this link copy link tag and paste this link here inside your head section we have to remove these attributes because we don't need them and friends now you can see that this is our current output so let's move toward the css part first to fall in our css we have to import an ubuntu font to import the ubuntu font that is a google font just type here google font click on the first link click on these bars click on fonts and search here ubuntu so make sure to write the ubuntu spelling correctly just click on this and i will remove this the previous font that i was added scroll up here you can see the preview but it currently it is displaying me in another language you can select your own continent like asia and your own desired language like english so this is the preview of our font to add this font you just have to click on this regular 400 and you will just click on view selected families and click on this import copy this link paste here inside your head section and next just copy this font family and here first of all type here star padding zero margin zero box sizing border box and font family ubuntu and list style none so it means that we have give this style to our all elements next type here body display flex justify content center align item center minimum height 100 vh and background linear gradient but i have already copied this background here so i will copy and paste here you can type this by yourself because we have not added our this style or css file inside the index.html that's why the preview was not coming so first of all just type here link relation is equal to style sheet and href is equal to style.css put forward slash and this one so remove this color from background color property to see this beautiful background next we have to copy this search box class and paste here with a dot and type display flex justify content space between this will allow you to your list items and search input in a straight line and next width 500 pixel height would be 60 pixel background color white border radius 5 pixel and box shadow first of all i will zoom out this one so you can see the output correctly let me zoom in a little bit that's it so it's a one of the best property that you can give as a box shadow i have remembered it so i will just type here 0 pixel 10 pixel 10 pixel and rgba 0 0 0 0 0.1 you can see a beautiful shadow around our this search input card next we have to copy this class and paste here with a dot then copy this drop down class and paste here with a dot and give position relative it has a meaning because the child elements position absolute property will work with this position relative to align these child items next we have to copy these two classes and copy this default option class and paste 
paste here and next type here width 150 pixel height 60 pixel line height 60 pixel text align center cursor pointer so when user will mouse over on this our pointer will look like this finger and next type here border right 2 pixel solid rgb 168 and 168 three times you can type this code manually and it will create a border around our this next give a color so i have choose this color for my this all text next friend we have to give style to our this unordered list to give style first of all just copy these two classes and paste here and we have to copy this ul element and paste here type here position absolute i'm not going to explain this but basically this position absolute property is working with this position relative property you will see its results next type here border radius 5 pixel top 70 pixel background color white width 150 pixel text align center padding top 20 pixel and display none but currently i will just comment this but later we have to uncomment this property because in the beginning our this list items will be hidden by default next we have to copy this and paste here and type here dot active type dot active without typing any space between this ul element and we have to add only css1 property which is display block basically these two properties will be used by javascript to display and hide these list items when user will click on these text or when user will select a specific text from these list items next again copy these classes and paste here and type here list item give padding top 20 pixel color i will copy this color and paste here because i want same color to my these two text and next give cursor pointer next friend we have to change this padding top property to padding bottom now it will look in a proper way next friend first of all i have to copy this search box class and next copy this search field class and paste here and before this just type here dot wrapper which is our parent most class of this width 450 pixel because the total width of our this box is 600 pixel that's why i have given 150 pixel width to my this div the remaining width is 450 pixel and that's width i have given to this full input div next friend we have to type here height 60 pixel and position relative next simply just copy these three classes and paste here and type here input it means that currently we are talking about or it means that we are going to give style to our this input field its code is simple give it 100 percent and height 100 percent outline none and border none and type here padding left 20 pixel next we have to give style to our this search element so just copy these three classes and paste them here and next we have to just the name of our this i element here so by doing this whichever style you will write inside these curly brackets that style will be given to your search icon so friends type here position absolute top zero right 20 pixel line height 60 pixel and cursor pointer so friends you can see that we have done with our css code and basically i have already told you that these two classes will work to display and hide these list items and we have to write a little bit javascript code so when when user will click on these list items we will show this text to, to our this div the next part that the backend developer have to do by himself obviously if you are going to make this design then the backend developer must have a strong command on javascript then he will able to work on this design not a too much strong command but he still must have experience with javascript to write the javascript code just type here script element and type here var just create a variable with this name default option is equal to document dot query selector and type here dot default option and semicolon so you can see the current code basically the query selector function will select the first element with class default option from our document and next friend we just have to copy this one and paste here and copy this ul class and name this variable ul and here just we have to type that class name which is ul i'm talking about this class next we have type here default 
ऑप्शन डॉट ऑन क्लिक इज इक्वल टू फंक्शन यू एल डॉट लास्ट लिस्ट डॉट टू गल एक्टिव सेमी कॉलन एंड फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी हैव टू अनकमेंट दिस लाइन सो वी कैन सी द आउटपुट सो फ्रेंड्स यू कैन सी दैट नाउ व्हेन यूजर विल क्लिक ऑन दिस बटन he will able to see these list item next we want when user will click on these list items we want our text in the place of this default option div that's pretty simple we have to create a function here select option and in this function i'm i have to receive a parameter which is list item it means that which list item is clicked by the user before writing code inside this function we have to call our this function inside our html here so type here on click is equal to and you can see this one and we have to pass here this so we have to copy this code and paste here three time so there are several ways to do this but i have select this option to do this according to my knowledge next friends we have to type here var value that's a just random variable and next just copy this list item here and type here inner html basically when user will click on this list item this list item will be passed as a parameter inside our this function and inside this variable with inner html function we will get the text in inside our these list items which is recent popular and all basically that text will be stored in our this value variable and next we have to type here default option dot inner html is equal to value it means that just set the recent word to our this element so you can see that friends that's it and at last we want that when user will select a specific option we want to hide our these list items that's pretty simple just copy this line of code and paste this code here so friends you can see that now it is working properly and here i will type point gap so friends i hope you must enjoy this video and please subscribe to our youtube channel inshallah we will bring a wonderful tutorials in the coming days about html css and javascript and please share this video with your those friends who want to learn web development and finally thanks for watching